So now we have to discuss about the staging system. There is a staging system which is known as Union of International Cancer Control, UICC staging. There are five classes of staging, stage zero. Stage zero means that if there is tumor in situ, TIS, no metastasis and no lymph nodes involvement. And stage one, which means if tumor size is less than two centimeter, no lymph nodes involvement and no metastasis. Stage two is if tumor size is less than two centimeter and lymph node involvement may not and no metastasis and maybe tumor size is two to five centimeter lymph node involvement or may not and no metastasis and the third one is t3 which mean tumor size is from two to five centimeter and there will be no lymph nodes involvement and no metastasis and stage three is there is tumor size two to five centimeter or tumor involved the skin or the chest wall and there is lymph nodes involvement from 0 to 3 which we already discussed in the TNM staging system and no metastasis and stage 4 said that there will be T of any anyone lymph nodes also anyone like from 0 to 3 and metastasis will be present so this is the UICC staging system and now we have to discuss about another staging system which is called Manchester staging system. Manchester. Manchester staging, there are also four stages. Stage one stage that there will be mobile lymph in the breast, but no palpable lymph nodes. And stage two, there will be mobile lump in the breast but palpable lymph node will be present and stage 3 there will be fixed lump in the breast and there will be with or without palpable lymph nodes and stage 4 there will be distant metastasis. So this is Manchester staging system for, for breast cancer. So now coming toward the treatment options. So there are different treatment options. It depends on the stage of the disease. Like if breast cancer is in stage zero, let's suppose for example, if the disease is DCIS, rectal carcinoma in situ. So we have three stages of breast disease like low, intermediate, and high. If the disease is in low grade, then the treatment option is partial mastectomy. And if the disease is in intermediate state, then the treatment option is partial mastectomy plus minus radiotherapy and if the disease is in high step then the treatment option is different like mastectomy plus minus radio plus hormonal therapy and hormonal therapy we have two options like if the female is in premenopausal stage then the treatment option is anti-estrogen which is femoxifen and if female is forced menopausal then the treatment is aromatase inhibitor which is inestrazole and if there is LCIS which means lobular carcinoma in situ this is also in stage 0, its treatment option is different. So there is lifelong surveillance and 
yes, there will be a hormonal therapy like tamoxifen and there will be bilateral total mastectomy. So the treatment option for stage 1 and stage 2 diseases are the surgery is the main stay of treatment. We can also add chemo or radio therapy. And in some cases, we can also give hormonal therapy. So now let's discuss about what surgical options we have. There is conserving breast surgery. And conserving breast surgery, we remove the breast with one centimeter of normal tissue. The second option we have mastectomy. And mastectomy we have simple mastectomy in which we simply remove the breast and extend it. Simple mastectomy. In this surgery, we remove the breast along with the level 1 axillary lymph nodes. Level 1 axillary lymph nodes are those lymph nodes which are lateral to the pectoralis minor, as we discussed earlier. And the third one is modified radical mastectomy. In modified radical mastectomy, we remove the breast, all the fascia, pads along with the second level of nephrodes, those nephrodes which are beneath the pectoralis minor. So for uh, stage 1 we discussed that there will be also chemotherapy which is like uh, infracycline which is dogorobusin and also we can give epirobusin and anemia agent which is uh, texans and we can also give another agent which is trans to zoomer this is for those patients who are HER HER2 positive and hormonal therapy hormonal therapy is we discussed already that uh, increased protein which is tamoxifen for premenopausal female and aromatase inhibitor which is anestrazole these are for those patients who are ER positive ER means estrogen receptor positive and this hormonal therapy will be continued for 5 years hmm. now coming to our stage 3 and stage 3 there is mastectomy and followed by chemotherapy or radiotherapy and hormonal therapy if the patient is ER positive and stage 4 there is no corrective treatment but symptomatic treatment can improve the patient's quality of life and we will also do surgery to remove the fungating fungating growth of the cancerous tissues so these were the treatment options as we discussed now coming toward the prognosis means five year survival rate if the disease is in stage one then survival rate is for five years is 94 percent if the disease is in stage two then the survival rate is from 70 to 85 percent if the disease is in stage three the survival rate is 50 percent and if the disease is in stage four then the survival rate will be less than 50 percent and there is also another criteria which is known as Nottingham Prognostic Index which calculate 
three factors like size, nodes involvements and grade of the disease. So NPI is equal to 0 0.2 which is constant multiplied by S plus nodes plus grade. We will take the size of the tumor in centimeter node. If there is no node involvement, then this will be 1. And if node is from 1 to 3, then the value of n will be 2. And if n value is more than 3, then this will be 3. And if disease is grade 1, then g value will be 1. A disease in grade 2, then the g value will be 2. If disease is grade 3, then the g value will be 3. So, if the result of NPI came like for 3.4, then this will be good prognosis for 5 years. If the, uh, the value came from 3.4 to 5.4, then this is intermediate and the survival rate will be up to 50%. And if the value is more than 5.4, then the survival rate will be less than 50%. So another one main thing, so when and who should do treatment, uh, screening for the breast cancer. A female is a free menopausal or more than 40 years of age, she should do yearly mammography and also yearly clinical examination. If the female age is 20 to 30 years, then she should do three yearly mammography. And those female whose age is more than 35, they should do mammography. And those whose age is less than 35, they should do ultrasonography. Why the female with the age of 35 or more should do mammography? 